Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saikon and today we're continuing our beloved blind playthrough of the game on Legendary Difficulty. I'm in a good mood because I do have the feeling that I understood something new and I wanted to let you know. So, I was reading through all of uh, the descriptions of each of the buildings because I oftentimes do that in between the sessions trying to kind of find new stuff and I still restrict myself from not uh, yeah, watching any guides or any information until after this run. And what I found out was that the archaeological lab, when I clicked on it, also says that besides determining the construction cost for the probes, it determines the rate of antediluvian artifacts recovered. So my thought process was these here are multiples of four. I just happen to have four archaeological uh, um, uh, excavation sites. So I uh, counted uh, or put one and one together and invested quite a bit uh, of funds into more archaeological labs. So we have four. I'm building two, four, six, seven. And that brings us to 11. And I'm tempted to build even more if my understanding is correct and I'm not completely uh, crazy. Whatever number I come up with, say 15, just for the sake of uh, putting a number out there, would be multiplied by three. And that means every single tick we would gain 45 instead of 12 of uh, these um, antediluvian uh, materials. So that would be super important because the weapons are absolutely kick ass and I want to get like many of them now that we have everything under control that being said our prime team has also a bit of bigger fish to fry we're fighting against uh, the pandorans with a team of seven um is this even no it's not uh, <laughs> one step back this is not the prime team this is actually team number six or so foxtrot uh, team I equipped them the last time, False Fire and Co. Oh yeah, now I remember. Uh, let's just go through them real quick. Enough hit points, check. Uh, we wanted to get Sniperist on this guy, check. Has basic equipment, check. Okay, so that's okay. We got Isla Sissy. Not bad. We gave um, Vincenzo. Uh, some stuff here. This team doesn't even have viewer names anymore. That's how far uh, down in the pecking order they are <laughs> Which is funny if you think about it um, Yeah, I, I gave them at least a couple of arms and the basic turret, which is okay um, we have Some armor penetration and it is where Barbo uh, Weber had finally made uh, their appearance need a little bit more hit points but we don't have uh, the skill points yet and same here with uh, Paulina who I think needs more hit points as well so that's going to be an interesting battle because we are fighting against quite strong opponents good we landed this is going to be fun as uh, the Foxtrot team I'm really not expecting a lot from my guys but maybe we can still pull something off. It's an interesting factory building here. Very nice graphics. I wish the maps would be a tiny bit more variety. But the ones that they built, uh, they are nice. So, where is the other operative? Uh, potentially somewhere else. Certainly not where we are. There. Move up. Begin to place a turret. Still alive. I was born ready. 
and although it costs us a few will points I, can make a I would want to immediately activate this here knowing farewell but that is one of the strongest two action point shots that we could take on my way All right, so I see them continuing to move on. Here comes. Tell you what, we are moving to here and then to here. And then to here. That will be good. Not a problem. Barbor takes Just cover. Anything that moves dies. My turn. Oh, okay, we spotted another enemy over here, Triton. Greater could help us uh, with clearing out that side. We found the second operative. Hmm, could place the turret up here. Would it hit something though? We are potentially better off placing it over here or alternatively Angle spotted. Got you a present. Here I am, let's placing it. it there. Okay. Well, We got a lot of enemies, but that was to be expected with kind of four strings, I think 15 or 16. I love incinerary grenades. They are so strong, good. Just overall, absolutely sexy. And if they, if the enemy runs uh, through them, they immediately start to regret it. Not sure what that guy is doing. Maybe a hacker, a war dance, before then deciding to shoot us. Oh, oh, oh! That's a nasty combination. He almost took us out. Okay, he took more damage from it than we did. And he's still staying in the fire, which is funny. Oh, 
Uh oh, that hurts. Okay, well, a couple of things. Number one, the turret almost automatically killed the technician. Technician. Does not have the actions to let the turret fire again. Well, the other technician has, so. Got lucky. Daddy. Target's still alive. Angle. I would like him to survive a bit more. Move over to here. I'll think about if we need more shots. Yeah. For now. This here seems a lot like a back and forth between uh, these two. I'm here. Let's have a look. Good. Certainly got a uh, got a kill there. On the other side, uh, we could deal a hundred uh, points of damage to everyone. Within a radius. Good, we're moving up. Healing half of the paralysis. So far, so good. Come on, unnecessary. Good, we're jumping down. Hitting everyone with a nice little war cry. Potentially not over there, but most of the others. And then going into cover. Okay. Move up. Polina. All I need is a clear. Huh. This is uh, the big fat carapace. That's unfortunate. Come on, let's try again. On the mark. And we will go into full cover. Next up. Yeah. 
We're taking remote control of the second turret that we do have. For an instant kill and... sure if we, if we can hit through here nope it seems like solid ground I'll try to get there in one piece I was born ready Okay, that's a hit, not a kill, but we got a, another overwatch, which should be enough. The moment that he starts to move, we can kill him. Okay, we do have three flanks. We got the fight in, indoors, we got the fight uh, on the burning side, and we got this fight here. Which unfortunately I think... I'm going to take a bit of paralysis damage. Yep, fully paralyzed. God, I hate paralysis. Turret was very valuable. No, 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 we're not going to take any more chances here. Fuck your chameleon torso, it's not going to happen anymore. Alright, somehow the game froze for a second. Ready for action. Confirming target. Comes online. Ready for action. Okay, getting our colleague back into action. Good. Hitting mostly everyone. And we're going back. Cool. Ready. And back into cover. Great. So, 
On the other side, we still have a long have to focus. standing operative here. Still active. Just give the word. Let's do this. Barbor moves up. It's a bit more involved. Yeah, we just need to find the right spot to hit. No. Okay, no clue why all of a sudden it is so difficult to hit this guy. Yes. Okay, fantastic. You killed him. No shit. Very good. Good, moving up a little bit closer. And I think everybody has acted. On the loop. It's just a matter of working our way through the different flanks. The left flank is one. This middle section here seems that it is going our way. Although we still need to kill, uh, we still need to kill both of them. Yeah, need to go back. Didn't have enough actions. Don't move for a sec. So I hope this is going to remove his paralysis as well. Yes, it does. Need to get below those okay? thresholds where we're essentially getting our actions back. And we're putting ourselves in cover. Okay, back. So, we just killed the guy. That is good. Let's see what else we can do. I'd love to get that sniper down. On my way. Barbour.
Let us move into safety over here. Got you covered. One. Makes himself invisible. All right, cool. Two. And yeah, we can't yet heal him. Okay, well, that's the end of the turn. So, three enemies left. Yeah, that's unfortunately a kill for the technician. In the meantime... This is payback for what happened. He will automatically die, so we're good. Moving out. I guess all we need to do now is move in and kill this guy. What's our move? New Jericho Assault seems very afraid of the situation. Whatever happens, I mustn't blink. Meanwhile, we can move across uh, the rooftop and hit the last guy Do we have a plan? We always have a plan. Don't very Vincent so He's moving back, which in this case, I'm not sure about this. I just want to spot him out. More of them. I'm done with the bullshit. No more maybes, we're going to go in and oh, this guy is going to change. There you go. Ready? Ish. Looks dangerous. Okay, moving over. Yeah, I don't have enough willpower to shout. Uh, ready. I don't know if uh, the panic will last another turn. 
just don't want to stand near him when he finally finds a reason to become angry and charge at us. To me, as if it's just that one guy, so next turn yeah, we should be done. I'm getting there. What are we doing? Moving up. Further up. Uh, ready. Positioning stinks quite a bit. I don't want to stand in a in a position where he just goes around the corner and literally kills us. Unfortunately, haste just or oh, frenzy just ran off. Talking about okay, worst moments move. possible for that to happen. Eyes open. Picking up the turret. And attempting to reposition. We're attempting to reposition. Uh, ready. Overwatch. I can do this. Move. Overwatch. Oh. Yeah, not the worst. It's okay. Count to ten. Breathe. Fantastic. The Foxtrot team did very well for being a Foxtrot team. Maybe it is just a matter of understanding the game well enough and then if you do have somewhat decent equipment and somewhat decent skills you can pull it off irregardless of the equipment. Good. We got ourselves a Redeemer and a, a VDM Defender. That isn't bad. Plus, we got another colony. Oh, yeah, baby. More colonies. I like it. The VDM Defender is good. That will help us. Uh, we need tech and we also need materials. And the reason why we need that is the name of the game now is Antediluvian 
uh, runes and how to get the most out of them. Our Calcum Forge here will be reached in 13 hours. So team number three is going to defend that. In the meantime, we are trading over here. I've, between the last time and this time, completely forgotten which of the havens I can still trade with. Two for twelve is good. We're going to do that. Okay, that was highly lucrative. I like it. Research complete. Research has resulted in an array of defense measures and physical barriers which improve the defense of all New Jericho Havens with uh, little cost. Benefit will apply and I estimate to improve defense capabilities. Pandoran's attack on Phoenix bases. Oh, because it's a New Jericho technology. Are reduced by one threat level. New Jericho. Hiding their havens behind walls. So frightened of infection. Frightened of change. Clinging to the old world. To everything. That is already, already lost. Yes. Yeah. The walls of Jericho will fall. Yes. As they fall. What? Before. Minus 10? Yes. yes. You cannot keep change out. Well, how and why? Tobias West's plan to save the Earth requires a central command hub and unsailable uh, fortress from which war efforts can be coordinated. Soldiers' recruitment is decreased by 50%. I don't know if we need that. We definitely need a little bit of that and we need a bit of that which brings us to almost no food. So let's try oh, yeah, of course now now we do have a haven uh, right here where only food can be traded in. Good, let's try that again. Good, we still have 11 hours. Enough time to get more food. Okay, right over here, trade. Uh, wouldn't let us trade. Fair enough. Okay, so far we're doing good. Uh, we need a tiny bit more food overall.
How is Inappropriate Murphy doing in the meantime? We don't want to forget them. Oh, nice. 550 experience almost. Very good. That's the fastest way of leveling him. Good. We're going to trade a lot just to get everything done. Eh, can't trade that much. But we can't do that much. I'll wait here for a second. It's funny for the first time we're lacking food. That quite literally never happened. But we'll get more, no worries. Research complete. More damage against acid worms. Thank you. Yeah, 2 for 10 is really not a good ratio. Uh, no, that's Crook Haven. That's not a good ratio at all. That's another crew cave and I can already see them. There we go. Moving to here. Pandorans will soon attack. It's funny how the trading itself becomes such an integral part of the game. Uh, 2 for 10 is not acceptable. Good, what are all of uh, the aircrafts doing? Okay, trading, trading, trading. Tiamat 9 uh, is going down here and will protect us, while Tiamat 2, the team number 2, actually needs XP. So that makes sense. We're waiting here. A little bit more trading. I don't know how quick all of uh, the markets refill. 
It seems that they have different sizes as well. Sometimes we get like really a lot of out of it and then at other times it's barely anything. A Pandoran Citadel has been discovered. One, two, three, four. Okay, the Prime Team definitely has a lot to do once we can get over. I promise you, we're going to just destroy all of uh, their facilities. We don't uh, want to go that far over there. Continuing to help on the continent here. But I don't see a next immediate mission. It's just a lot of trading and I want to get our resources into a stable position. Unfortunately, although not really sexy, this still seems to be by far the most lucrative way of actually gaining resources. soon this is going to be our next bigger mission just defending the Arcalcum Forge once that's done I would say we're flying down here trading for tech and then we're building more antediluvian runes so far only 12 hours have gone by. We don't have enough tech for more than three antediluvian runes, but we'll get there. Uh, we'll get there. So, in 12 hours, what did Murphy get uh, overall? Well, he's almost at 700. Holy shit, that is quick. Very quick. If we're just leaving him here for a tiny bit longer, we should be good to go. And in terms of equipment, let's just double check. Polly is fine. Ian the Butcher Owens gets an anti goo shield. Grell gets the very same. Euler gets it. I think we'll take two more of these repellents and 
if my memory serves me well, I've also built a few more items that we haven't had before. Just to test them out. So I'm not sure if I built the Destiny laser pack. But we now do have the virus sniper rifle, so that's a thing. I built one of the sanctifiers, a acid burst pistol, which should specifically shred armor. Maybe something moderate range, something that the berserker can use. But they already have acid shred, so maybe something that uh, someone with pistols uh, that otherwise doesn't have shred could use. And we're currently in the process of manufacturing the shield. I haven't used that yet. And this is a light sniper rifle for two action points. So you can overwatch for one action point, which is quite good. So curious to see how that progresses. And there we go. That's the defense of the ancient side. Thank you for watching. If you want to defend the honor of this channel and with it also against the ancients, uh, then consider hitting the like button. That sends automatically a few uh, reinforcements. Thank you and have a good one. Bye-bye.